Here's the first update of Season 5. Extraction has been added to the Forbidden Prism 24-7 playlist. Extraction is weighted higher than the other modes, meaning you will see this mode more often. Meaning all you need to do is go to the Forbidden Prism 24-7 playlist, check out the game list, and you can see here at the bottom you have Extraction for Prism and also Forbidden. Along with the modes of Slayer, Strongholds, Land Grabs, King of the Hill, and CTF for Forbidden. Also, did you know that 77% of the people watching this channel are not subscribed? Well, keep up to date with everything going on with Halo and Gaming. Make sure you to subscribe. It's a quick play where extraction on solitude has been removed from the playlist due to a bug affecting the zone's rotation and extraction on streets has been added to the playlist. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping for an extraction 24 7 playlist. I thought it'd be a fun playlist to kind of play for the Wii to really get a sense of how the mode actually plays out. The only time I've really had a chance to play around with it is in the ranked arena settings, which there have been some weird things happening with that mode. This is a clip from Spartan's stream here playing extraction on the live fire. You can see there's a really odd location that someone was able to plant right there, which it's not really meant to happen. It's possible, but you really shouldn't have that right there. It's kind of a real cheesy spot, and it's really difficult to actually get in there. You have to jump a very specific way to get to that spot. Shown here by the movement god, the Milkway, showcasing where you basically have to jump and kind of just land right on top of that, and you can also put the extraction point right there. It's a very specific jump, very technical, but it is very possible. Uh, I'm assuming this will get patched eventually. It's still in the game at the moment at the time of making this video but i would suggest don't do it it's kind of a cheesy way to play the game but if you really that desperate for wins i mean there's that right there for you husky raid has now officially been moved from the rotational playlist to the staple playlist but they did mention that the team is monitoring the player population for this playlist but there are no plans for the husky raid to rotate anytime soon i know people out there love their husky raid i have really played it a whole lot i played it when it first came out it was a fun little change of pace but it's not really a mode that i would continue to keep on playing but but i understand how people love it now one thing that always gets updated every tuesday guys it is the shop and there's some interesting things there so we have the first tile here this is like a halloween themed kind of deal we got going on for it so you get like an helmet right here which won't load until right about now there we go you can see it's actually kind of a cool like goblin kind of thing if you're really into that it's kind of a fun thing right there you also do get this assault rifle model which kind of just adds like these little razor blade things on the side you also get like a little stabby thing on the bottom which is kind of fun you get some uh horns you put on your spartan which is kind of a fun addition you have a spawn effect right here with a bunch of bats and things like that you get a visor right here with a bunch of bats on it as well and then you also have like this red and black ish steel kind of color coating it's not really that flashy i probably wouldn't bother spending money on it but if it's something that you guys would really be interested in i mean that's more power to you on that one and of course you get like some emblems and stuff like that nothing too crazy there they kept the pumpkin spice tile right here, which is just like some crazy coating right here that's covered in bats and stuff like that. It's kind of fun if you're interested in it. There's that. You also do get uh, weapon coatings for all the UNSC weapons. They're kind of eh, kind of bland. Nothing too crazy here. I think I might hold on to my credits right there. You also get the Halloween hero coatings for your assault rifles. I'll move away my screen here so you can see it a little better. It's kind of a fun one as well. Let's see what it looks like on Hydra right here. Bunch of little bats all over it. So if you're really into Halloween, I mean, if it's really your thing, I mean, there's this for you. Oh, look at the grip on this. That's like spiderweb pattern on it. That's actually kind of fun. We still have all the flood options from last week still in the game as well. So if you haven't bought into those or was saving up some cash, or whatever, you can still buy into those. We also now have the steel heart coating right here, which is I think just from the battle pass, if I remember correctly right here. This is either very close to or straight from the battle pass you can buy individually. I mean, for some of these cores, it actually does look kind of nice. I'm actually really digging this one. They also have the steel heart helmet here, which is definitely unique if it's uh, your thing. Well, there you go. Some shoulder pads as well. Another chest piece on top of that, which does look kind of nice. And of course, some knee pads as well. Get a little floody weapon charm right there as well. And also the steel hard coatings, which is kind of like the same kind of color scheme, but with some stripes on it. Not that, not that crazy. The weekly ultimate is the Pearl Patrol coating for your weapons, which kind of has like an orangey rustic look to the whole thing. If that's your deal, well, there you go. Nice little coating to kind of get for the weekly ultimate. Now, we recently saw some leaks when it comes to the maps coming in for season six. If you guys want to know more about that? Check out this video right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.